Hey, what's up? Um, it's a bit awkward to start here, but I'm in the parking lot of a, of a Tesco here. I don't know if you can see even so. Um, anyways, we're heading to the next place coming up here. And we got two hour drive coming up right now. Actually, just got some water here. Stop and get a pack of water. It is so full. Actually, you can see the water right there. So, yeah, wish us luck. Hopefully, we get there safely. And hopefully, this next place is not going to be full of too many problems. Say goodbye to the last place. A few issues I want to talk about the place. I'll get to that here in a bit. Um, we're staying with the guy tonight. And he'll be gone tomorrow morning sometime. So, just going to see. Hopefully, he's not the worst person. Really hope. Because the last person we just talked to, it seems like decent. It was nice, so ah, <sighs> made one of the nice first nice people I actually met on the platform. So, oh, okay. So, <laughs> uh, I'll give you an update probably when we get into the place. Welcome back. So everything has been done with that. Before I get into everything else that's happened here, I want to just finish up with the last place, and there were some problems. I cleaned out the fireplace area, some ash, no big problem for me, but uh, actual problems I had were spiderwebs everywhere, and we're not cleaning properly in the spiders a lot because of it, so having a cleaner for that definitely be good. Place would be amazing if it was like refurbished from floors redone, wallpaper, paint, whatever redone, all that, but um, I don't know, just being old and stuff, historic. Uh, the the spider webs and then the dryer was horrible. Like I had not been using so long. Uh, I said people in the UK own dryers and never use them. There was so much old lint in there. I had to clean it for a while using our spray and everything or uh, air in a can. So thankfully I had that around. But uh, she went and uh, cleaned all that out a lot and spent some time with that. So we could finally have clean clothes in the in there again. Uh, he's got a washer here in this place now as well, and it's cool. But he said he never uses it. Looks like they always try to direct you not to. Like, when you hang your clothes outside, there's all kinds of particles that get in and get it dirty. But when you wash them and immediately put them in the baggage, they're clean. And especially for people like me with asthma, I have more issues and I get dust everywhere like that so quickly. Got everything mostly unpacked here. Going pretty decently with that. All, there's a, a lot of different things that have uh, been fun to, to try to fit in here so the dog here barney he's so damn energetic it's disgusting like uh was jumping all over us and just uh causing so many issues with like almost knocking me over jumping up heavily on me big dog and really hurting us and and uh it's too much energy so i've written and reviewed people except for the last place she's gonna be special i'm gonna have to get the evidence i have put against her in THS and man really like to sue people like that recording you without letting you know <laughs> anyways no way to review her because she's still not reviewing us because she knows we did a great job leaving her entire place clean and no problem at all we ate a few pieces of her food she said she prefer for us not to we had a few things that's about all I did I'd say that was wrong considering everything that she did I think there's no room for her to complain the slightest so uh, beyond that, I'm just going to give you a quick tour around here, I guess. So, uh, this is the bedroom we are in here. And I guess I can show you outside here real quick. If I didn't already, because about the only place I'd be able to show. So, I don't know if you can see properly there. There's the park outside where people are coming and playing and stuff. We actually just had some kids. One girl came over again. Like, I don't know if it's them already sending people over or what, but... Uh, the owner was already like saying not long after he left, like an hour or two. Oh, we're missing, we're missing him so much, and that's not a good sign when you see that, cause like it means they're addicted too much, too controlling, and just too too, you know, too much like that. So they had I don't know if that's normal or if they're just coming over to go check. This is looking at his tag as well. Saying, oh, what's that? And uh, it's like uh, some type of thing. Uh, it's like an Apple thing. It's an, uh, it's an Apple tracker he has on the dog's car to know where he's going and stuff. I took it off because I just don't like being tracked everywhere we go or if we're doing stuff. I get it's great if the dog gets lost at all. But if I have him on a proper leash, proper collar, all that, got everything sorted, it's not be a problem. And I just value our privacy in a lot of ways. Uh, I just, I, I hate people tracking where we're going. Like, personally, whenever we're doing something. I, I'm sure a lot of you would understand and feel the same way. So, I came over, and I was trying to hold the dog, because I actually had to put the tracker back on real quick in case they were, like, trying to see something. I, I don't even know. Maybe they came over just because I I did that with taking the tracker off the collar and putting it down in the room. I don't know. 
could be a coincidence. Just gonna wait and see how this plays out. But um, the dog ran out there. I was holding by the collar and uh, just make sure it went off in the field out there. I was showing you and uh, holding him because I didn't know it's my first day here doing this basically, like actually alone. And ended up uh, turning around, twisting my fingers here in the collar, and you're turning red, trying to pull him. The kids were just looking like, oh, I just think my fingers stuck. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get him out. I turned around, finally got my fingers out. Really almost hurt my fingers, still like feeling weird. This uh, damn dog is too energetic, too energetic. So the evaluations I'm putting, I put 12 different categories. Maybe I can, if we can list it here in the vlog, put it and show you somewhere. Um, you have three different categories, a normal star, and you have the whitish star, it shows like it's no star there. You have a star with like sparkle around it to show that it was amazing, phenomenal. I think it's working out great, honestly, doing that. And for this dog, I think I've made him two or three so far, based on the way he is, just like not trained, super trained. He tries to jump up on your food all over, holding plastic forks even, just that. He tries to jump up and just slobber all over you and just... He's not trained, he's too much of an animal. And comparing him to the last pet, such a world of difference. The last pet, oh, I love the way the dogs are like so calm, that type of, oh, beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and go down here, finish showing you this and that should conclude everything. I hope I think there's that. There is uh, this other room over here, basically, uh, that we have square bedroom, so. Um, my kids' kids are older. I was meeting, I met them this morning. They're they're a bit older, and I think they're about twenty something. At least I don't know. I messed their age, but seem to be decently old now. So, um, probably in their twenties, maybe not not young anymore. We got this. So here's that. It's quite quite nice, certainly. As you can see, it's all very very clean and such. So very very good. And here's this. The room he said we can come in here and use this if we need. And, and all that stuff so uh yeah not not bad at all really in the slightest but um uh, got tv there and everything to do so P put my piano out probably uh up here and go do stuff looks like she's got the macbook out already my 8k cable i need to open that up there and get that all going so um there is he yeah, said just this room as well Basically, thermometer and nice having turned up, so not much else. So nice, nice view out there, kind of. Other than that, there's downstairs coming right down there. As we're going down here, here's the main area where they were at and kind of going in. So, okay, here's Barney. Don't destroy the phone, Barney. Don't hate Barney. Come here, Barney. Barney, no. Okay, we're closing that. We gotta keep them like locked out this century because you destroy our room with crap in there who would be a nightmare so here's this room essentially here and yeah not, not too bad really uh, nice tv decently it's pretty pretty soft on the cushions but you go too far back so you need something to sit behind your back there and let's go check in this room here over this way we got some main doors here we can lock keep it out <laughs> are you okay in there but yeah Besides that, here's the main kitchen area, essentially. Looks like everything's good. Here's my bird's eye chilies I got for five pounds because everything else was more expensive for smaller sizes, so we you know, may as well get that. And here is, I'll be careful walking, I hear my socks. Here's the yard. Uh, bay leaf plant right there, a tree actually. And I think it's got thyme right down there. Uh, I think it was parsley right here, all kinds of different stuff out there, like a rosemary and uh, lavender there, all kinds, he's really crazy with all the spices and herbs, so, oh, it's insane actually how I many he's got, it's really, really cool, this have all those things, I don't know if that is over there, even type of tree there, decent, nice, nice yard, it looks bigger in the pictures a little bit, but it, uh, it also looks bigger in the phone almost, yeah, it's relatively moderate size, so, oh, <sighs> about it there for that and the uh, kitchen or should what happened no no just be careful oh Barney quit come on we have this last area here and special plants like some type of plant from India curry plant like really smells super strong I have stuff here in the dryer that 
never use much. So, yeah, it's my fun. I was in this thing. They always, in, in uh, Britain, they always put stuff like this over here in the kitchen sink completely. And I don't understand why. Constantly, it's like, right, girl, it's always doing that stuff. So, um, he just goes back out through into the front there. And back over to the yard, so not much. Other than that, here's the other bathroom there and all that stuff. So up on the wall there, they have a whole bunch of pictures. And it's really creepy, actually, because, like, it's crazy how families are in the UK here. They have a bunch of naked pictures of their children. Not even just super young, but, like, older, maybe five to eight years old. Just naked in different ways. A couple of them, like, from the back. And they have posts on the wall, it's like... It's cringe as hell. I, it's disturbing. I, I feel like that's not, I would never do that personally with my family. And I just, I, I, do you feel me? Is this like a British thing? Cause this is really, I would never take pictures of my babies or children naked in, in general. I, I feel like it's really disrespectful of them. Please tell me that's not just me. Anyways, it's messed up for me. And I think, uh, yeah, it's not something to do, right? You think the same? Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's not even like, like I mean, like showing like the literal genitals of your your female, like your daughter. Not just the female, the male too. Where's the guy? It was Dick. It wasn't there? No, he's ass. Ass or anything, but like the girl specifically showing her freaking genitals, oh, yeah, they're dude. All doing that here. Yeah, in the UK, like like yeah, in the first place, I mean, their their daughter just like run around naked. And Poland too, we saw that. Oh, that was a guy actually. But here, they mm -hmm. love letting their daughter just run around showing their... It's so messed up. Oh, why are you look, Bro, it's freaking right there on the open. Just run. Dude, that's like having someone naked walk into your street and be like, Oh, why are you bothered by it? You think it matters just because they're young? Piss off. Yeah, I see your face. Like, no. I don't care what age you are. You should like not be... I exposed like it's it's forms of child porn. Gross. It's disgusting. You shouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. I suppose people don't want to change. They don't want to change. You know, it's culture. Oh, beautiful culture, right? Whatever. Anyways, here is oh, Barney. You are troublesome. You are a big dog. You are very, very big. Very big. So, yeah, that's Barney and. I think we won't be spending the most time out of time with him in general because he's just so like energetic we got all the work to do keep him in there uh from time to time if we need to yesterday he was horrible horrible but he's been better since then so now it's just us but uh, at night we're supposed to close out lock him up in there and, and let him sleep there so yeah, he wants us to literally lock him up in there so i, I guess it makes sense he doesn't yeah our tired track on him and uh, like I said, I understand how uh, Mike White is on there to not lose a dog, but I don't like being tracked, so I probably take that off and we go out and do these stuff. But as long as you have a good leash and everything, you're fine. So um, that's about it for now. There's a tour of the place. That's basically it. Um, yeah, don't know how much more we're going to be bothered by neighbors all the time. It's like so much neighbor crap in the UK. And you don't like, answer them. They just like, tell their parents and stuff like that. So there is something happening, even though they probably could be like uh, with your headphones and your business and things. Yeah, I could, I could literally be doing your business. Like it's, it's very problematic or practicing in the middle of doing something upstairs, you know. Uh, or you could be cooking, something could be burning, you know. People don't respect you like focusing your time into things. And this person is from Seychelles, Seychelles, I have always pronounced that. So they do act a lot different than the British people, but still. It looks like when people live here for a lot of years, they get really influenced because native language is Creole. And this probably discovered it's really similar to French, like 80%. Grammar is different and different things, and things aren't gendered. But uh, I think, even though it's being a native language, I think uh, English coming in is really good English. I think just being here shaped them completely. 15 years living. 15 years, yeah, it shaped someone completely. So basically British at this point. I feel like some people are, people are assholes in every country we go, but damn, it's just like a twist on the asshole, an asshole twist. Like, it is the best way I can describe it. Might go out and see a couple things here, and he wanted to see the zoo and stuff. He recommends some place if he can go, so I uh, might set up something to like see and all that while we're gone, because I think that's important. I will come back whenever something else.
probably there's gonna be something else. I got some more stuff. I um, ordered Amazon that we need smoke de or not smoke bag, carbon monoxide detector. Hopefully it's gonna work and pH tests for testing our bodies here, our acidity. They help you get your health up, higher pH level, and because it causes a lot of diseases. Apparently I'm finding out more. Having a low pH level and acidity and all that in your body, and then pH for water and, and TDS total dissolved solids of different things, minerals or sewage waste, anything is all that means. Uh, and your water there and carbon monoxide amount, carbon dioxide amount in the air, so have better ventilation, just help her health. So, you know, all kinds of different things, it's gonna help out a lot. <sighs> Interested to see if it fully works measuring by stove and all that. First time having it, I should have had this my entire time traveling through Brazil and everywhere. It's like people are so stupid. You have to have these things, protect yourself. It's still like you're living in in ancient times, truly. You got anything else to add to that? You good? Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, we're good. Uh, see you in a bit. I don't care. I don't remember how I left off some days ago, maybe, but have more so. I need to explain like everything, essentially. It's gonna be shaky here. This guy has been really kind of an asshole, putting way more work on us than he should. He's wanting, like, I'm like, okay, I'll send you an update around this time, this time. He's like, oh, actually, I'm three hours ahead, you won't do that. He's like, um, I'm like, okay, I'll send it to you from like, uh, to, uh, like, I think it's 4 p.m. or like 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. your time then, if that works. He's like, oh, no, no, you don't have to be time, lol. Like, like, literally, anyone who starts saying law like that, they are not taking it seriously. They're gonna be an asshole with you. That's what we had with the last person, which we're gonna now probably be in the last after everything's happened. With just how horrible they are secret recording us and going through our trash and everything. I'm like, hey, I'm really busy here having issues from the last person. Secret recording us, going through all kinds of issues, being horrible. And uh, we're just really not doing well. I've been a nightmare trying to take hours to get videos moved because it only works on iPhone and Mac. Couldn't add anything on old MacBook because we don't have update enough technology. Couldn't get a proper editing software for MacBook because it's not updated enough, but it's as updated as it can be. It's just been a nightmare. It's taken several days to get a couple of the videos, like properly cut down a few minutes and just send off them as evidence. And now they're saying they'll take 14 days to review it. Forgot to tell them they're also stalking us with their neighbors. Like, we'll be looking wherever we go. And this guy here just like doesn't give a damn at all. Doesn't care. As usual, how people are. You can tell he's an asshole and cold because of that. How most people are. And then, like, I. Because he keeps asking me, oh, are you sure you're going? Are you sure you're going to at least two walks with the dog? And, and I'm like, I'm telling her, okay, let's record our second walk here just to prove to them. And she's like, oh, are you sure if you want to? And I was like, yes. So we did that. I sent that off to him. And then he was literally just like, ah, oh, thanks for the update. Because I, I sent him, I'm like, hey, just, I, I see you're not certain, you're not sure about us having a second walk. So just just to cut up any doubts, here's our second walk. See, we are having a second walk. Because these people are horrible here. And he's like, oh, thanks for the update. And just like, happy. These people want you to send two or three updates a day. And they go out on several walks, have 40 minutes or 30 minutes each. And it's like, he said, take him to the park, take his dog Barney to the park. And then he said not to take him to the park, basically just do walks mostly. Because it's not good for him to pee around there. I'm like, I, I'll take him over to the bushes, kids don't go there. And I obviously wouldn't have him go where there's like areas where the kids go and play, because it's not sanitary. He's just not been satisfied with anything. Anyways, get to this point now. Took like a, a basic bath, a little bit of water, and... After that, sat there for a while, an hour or so later, tried taking a shower, and boom, there's just like no hot water. Barely warmer than the cold water. And I've been trying to mess around with it for an hour or two. And I finally sent him a message just like saying that we had constantly keep having issues wherever we go ever since we came to the UK. And that it's just like this. Like, it doesn't matter if you're trying to get work done or to have any relaxing moment at all. It's constant problems in this country. And I said to him, let me guess, you've never had these issues, and it's the first time happening with us now, right? And uh, he's going to probably reply in a couple hours, and we're probably going to be expected to be up early again, take care of their damn pet. After, like, literally having nothing proper, had to take a shower in cold water, and the freaking body wash, while, like, tea trees, like, numbing with the cold water as well. It's a horrible feeling. I was shaking so much, and finally starting to calm down now a bit. I think after I getting worked up some, my thighs getting warmer. But I was shaking so much, and 
this is just something you wouldn't go through when you were actually paying for a place. These people are so trash in this country. So many issues. Damn it, I know I'm not the only one going through things like this. If you think this is normal, it's not. You shouldn't be going through all these problems. We have like general technology. I was messing around with the hot water thing here, constantly trying to figure out what's wrong, messing with different valves reading, and it looks like it's been shut off remotely almost. Maybe because it was being used slightly more than they wanted. We had a basic bath. Like, it doesn't even take that much water at all. This is absurd. This country is so crazy trying to conserve energy and everything and recycle everything. And the companies are just taking advantage of it and actually charging way more for electric bills, charging for parking anywhere, big or small city, and just stealing from you constantly wherever they can so much. I'm having so much hell here with this. It's almost a nightmare buying a car here even, but I still don't regret it because it's helped us out so much already and traveling and just having a sense of security. It takes several days to go get crap sent off and you buy stuff here and all of a sudden it has issues or poisonous like the yakon syrup we had. The person was lying about it here from the UK online Amazon and it actually was expired and it looks like it was poisoning us from before I'm quite certain. And then a carbon monoxide alarm comes and it's not even working dysfunctional as well and just doesn't detect things like I feel like things are worse here than America for sure about these things. And I just, I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of being in a poor third world country. It has first world things in some ways, but damn, it's like so many ways it's a third world country. I would at best classify this as a second world country and people just fight with you. Oh, it's got Asda's or it's got a nice market. Mate, you got Sam's Club in Brazil. That's like nicer than any market I've seen here almost basically, except maybe if you go to like a macro, which is a cash and carry, not even a normal store. Like Brazil is more updated than here in a lot of ways in some ways no but like for standards of living it feels like it was nicer than almost I, I i just don't understand i don't understand how there's so many problems here and just things break things are problematic all the time and i think we found out the only reason this place looks cleaner at all superficially because we found an inhaler and here it looks like someone has asthma for something so that's probably the only reason why everyone else is living like a pig in this country constantly you shouldn't have to spend several hours still be up after 2 a.m still just trying to take and finish your shower you shouldn't just because there's no hot water after not using it for like an hour hour and a half like you should not be having this problem especially while helping take care of someone's pet and being expected to go on three walks a day may looks like maybe got down to two this is absurd i just don't know what to do like truly I I truly don't know what to do at all. It's absurd. Do you have anything to say? No. No, she's just really depressed. <laughs> we're, we're both not well mentally ever, ever since like being in this country. The first moment I walked in here, just heard a girl in the... W.H. Smith? Yeah, W.H. Smith. Just heard a girl just like, oh, oh, I got three hours to kill. Like that type of first world, spoiled ass girl. Oh, that made me want to vomit already. I was really like, mm -hmm -hmm. so that's like how the UK is. After going through how just to probably get in. <laughs> well, like them saying they're doing such a favor for you, letting you in. Oh, these governments and border patrol people are such a joke. They're the biggest joke I've ever seen. Because you go through all that hell with them just to get into a country like this. Like, oh, and people are so stupid. Most of the population seems to be so stupid that they just let everything go like this that's why it's taken us this long to to progress truly how, how many thousands of years minimum has it taken us to progress or do anything in our existence as a human species we're pathetic creatures i really feel like that like most people and we're just existing to reproduce eat sleep and then die right <laughs> I feel like that's most of humanity, and it's just depressing. It's depressing. Humans are depressing. Society's depressing. Culture is depressing. Countries are depressing. Everything's restricted and held back, and nothing is pushed for improvement, progression in the right direction, and making things better. Instead, it's just getting worse. It feels like with more technology, better obviously and easier in a lot of ways, but worse more restricted more controlling and just more dystopian and i think there'll be a lot of people who agree with me and see this maybe not even now but i think especially in the coming years people will start to see more so the way i'm seeing
but I think it still may not be enough to do anything. I just don't know. This is this is hell constantly. You can't even work to do anything. We got all that taken care of finally with with sending information. And THS probably just like like trusted house centers just probably gonna be like um we'll give her a warning. <laughs> Like after what that freaking piece of trash did, you're serious. You're serious. I have all their full names, so I have every every ability to go and uh, know who they are when I go to my lawyer. I'm gonna get a good ass lawyer in the future, and I'm just gonna start suing the hell out of people because this is horrible. I wish I would have had the neighbors' names too for like tracking me. The problem is, I just don't have like proper proof of that. I just need to be wearing like a GoPro on me constantly all the time or some type of thing similar to it. I'm in shock. People are like this in the UK. Oh yeah. And the guy here as well actually. He's like saying about like not taking Barney to the park too much because like the neighbors are always watching. Like literally who's saying that? We're both in shock going crazy. We, we were like, is she was like, is he like threatening us? Like saying you're being watched because uh, like you better be doing your job? And we're just, I'm just like, Maybe, and I I said to him, yeah. I replied, yeah. You know, neighbors are always watching. Like one of the last places, you know, they were even like stalking us, following us different places and streets we were going. Mm -hmm. And the neighbors here as well came home uh, just from a quick grocery trip, a few nights back, and they're like staring at us out their window. And yeah, is is this normal like in the UK? Because we've had this uh, problem several times. He didn't reply. He didn't reply to anything. And then these people, after you get done doing all the work, taking care of their pet, feeding them, watering them, cleaning up poop all the time, trash, they rip into accidentally somehow, because this dog's crazy, you can't leave anything around him. He's so energetic, trying to always jump on you and attack you, really hurt you and bite you. I've had several bite marks from this dog. I don't know if I mentioned that. He's literally tried to bite me several times and was almost bleeding. So here's one stuff if, if it can show it. It's healing up more now finally, but it's really not cool at all And that was because I was wearing my green jacket by the way and he went his teeth went through that literally his teeth he bit me and He's been biting her scratching our fingers and our various other places very problematic pro problematic dog it's a Labrador and those no, are known for having issues. Uh, almost attacked and killed one of my family members. Different one they had. So yeah, these these are not good. I was not aware of this when we first started at all, and now it's making more sense completely. So I just like you don't reply to me saying I I was you trying to threaten me, uh, threaten us with the neighbor or something because then I turned it right back on him. Like yeah, it's weird, right? Why are people staring and watching us? What's going on? Of course, you turn it back on the psychology, you're not going to say a damn thing. Like, if, like, it's just people in the UK in general, and I know people get pissed off at me, but I honestly, I can't say Americans are much better, probably. I think a lot of Americans have a lot of issues with this in a similar way. I think maybe it was probably less bad than what's going on here. I cannot certainly speak anything until I actually go there and do pet sitting there and all that. But as it stands right now, I truly, based on evidence I have, believe the UK is somewhere maybe decently worse than the US in a lot of ways. But if I can stay off of like drug neighborhoods and cities in that country, because there's a lot of that going on. But it's driving us crazy because we're not getting a break mentally. We can't even have a shower without having problems like this. It's driving you crazy. And no one uses their dryer here. They buy dryers and don't use them. And uh, they just dry their clothes and get them all dirty again outside. I just don't understand people. I feel like the IQ here is really low. I think from my son's statistics, what people have a hard time like writing even or like reading. A good amount of people are, like illiterate or something I saw or just like have difficulty. I don't know why it's so high in this country. It reminds me of Brazil so much here, except like worse in some ways. Like the worst parts of Brazil almost. Uh, there's like mold everywhere, a bunch of places like Brazil, and I just don't know. I know I'm not crazy, even people disagree with me. I know I'm not crazy, and I know I'm not wrong. It's normal, and it's okay to want a house where you don't have mold everywhere, and to have proper warm water, and to have proper clean water to drink, and not have everything dirty so you can like breathe. Got an air monitor, and it shows even in this place. 
that uh, carbon dioxide is often in these rooms above a thousand ppm parts per million should be down like 500 or so five seven hundred maximum or so and it's just not think every time things are stuffy and start choking it's because there's not enough ventilations in the in the room and, and too many items in there like it's not in my head especially my lungs being more sensitive okay i've gotten some nature is fine for this the carbon monoxide uh, tool didn't work, but the carbon dioxide one certainly is working well, it looks like. So, I actually have proof we can measure things not fine. I, thankfully, I, it's like, I'm not going crazy. It's my body truly having issues because things are just not clean or, or well. And it's so late, and you're expecting, I suspect this when I wake up early. And he's going to be rude now with us. And just, like, say, oh, you're being rude with me because we're saying, like, this country has been having issues for us constantly ever since we got here. And all the corruption as well in this country. I never even talked about enough to anyone here. Like they would care even. And he's just going to be, oh, you're being rude because his house is broken some hot water. And now I've had to take a horrible cold shower. And now I haven't had like a rack in time ever. It's just constant work, uh, whether it's for his pet or like to get things done from previous bad sits. And I gotta go try to service a car. Tomorrow, make sure everything topped up, spend more money, and we're running out of that really quickly, not much left, and it's just, I don't know, I really don't know, this is a nightmare, really think about getting out of this country almost, like going to a country where things are cheaper, just, I don't know, it's so bit much trouble traveling between borders that it's almost not worth it, I'm gonna try to stick this out, I don't know what that guy's gonna say in the morning, maybe we'll even be leaving here, potentially tomorrow, and miss some of our packages, I don't know, I don't know these people. They're they're so unpredictable, and they can try to kick you out anytime. And then like THS has to give you like you gotta pay for a store, and then they refund you. Like dude, well if you can't even pay for a place properly because you have enough money left. Oh, this is a nightmare. I hate this website. It's it, it's so corrupt. They look after hosts more than you. This is horrible. I, I'm sure you don't have anything to say. Probably right. If yeah, just like remembering like some of this place. Yeah, I remember Samantha's place. Yeah, yeah and she just like her freaking out that she would have put her dogs in a can, an emergency can. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was saying um, in her review, it was like, oh, she's freaking out and would have kicked us out of her place and put her dogs in, in kennels, like these small cages for them, paying for that. But she didn't for some reason. Like, literally, remember saying in the vlog where I, I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if these people try to even kick us out. I remember, I think I said it in the vlog, and turns out it is correct. I do know these people pretty well because their place is really dirty and just horrible and cracked everywhere. There's like mold in places, mold in the dryer, and they say it's normal, even though I'm Google searching it and saying it's hazardous for your health, hazardous for your health, and literally. They're just like saying, I have the issue when they're, they're, oh, it's normal. And most people have said, you know what, it's not. It's the worst one I've ever seen being in this country so far. I didn't see this stuff in Brazil at all. Third world country, my ass. That's more updated than here. This is such a dirty country. Just pig people. Literally pig people everywhere. It reminds me so much of it. Brazilians were not like this, and they get the bad reputation for so many things when a bunch of the world is far worse. I, and I don't understand. South America seems to be like not as bad as people are saying and thinking. Like, I don't know what's up people's assholes, but frick, I'm gonna travel the rest of that and also see how that is at some point here. But I'm not liking the UK, like where we're at from Liverpool, and this probably down to London. London's already pissed me off before, like. <laughs> It's so many issues. When you have issues before you even go to a country, that is not a good sign. Like I had trying to come here before wasting five thousand dollars. I ho I really hope I'm not alone because if I'm alone, in the way I'm thinking with all these problems, then that means like humanity's completely corrupt and just like forgotten and lost. And there's almost no point continuing at that point because like our species is is down, truly. If things are not like, properly broken, and you'd be like, oh, you're crazy, you're freaking out, we're just like some hot water. No, there, there is like, you missed everything then. Like, it's so many things. It's so many things. This is just like the cherry on top of how things are always broken here because I didn't have these issues in Brazil, right? And it's a third world country versus first world. That is what I'm trying to get across. That is the issue. 
It's always issues here, and we should be working day and night to get simple things done. It wasn't like this in Brazil. Can you enjoy our time in Sao Paulo more? Uh, I just, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Yeah, let's talk about this in the vlog properly. I had a call because the owner here wanted to uh, have, a like, face-to-face -face more. Upset because I sent a message last night saying, like, we didn't have water. I had to take a freezing cold shower. Like, of course, we're not happy. And he's like, uh, that just, like, made me not happy with you guys. Uh, like, you're talking to me that way. Like, really throw me, me off. Throw me off. Bruh, you didn't tell us. Apparently now he tells us that the hot water has a time where it heats up only in the morning and only in the evening. So if you use the water, you're freaked the rest of the day. You're joking. I'm in shock about, like, how bad this is here. The first place, this place is really horrible. This is a one-star house, just, like, the way everything is here. That's absurd. He didn't tell us that. And he's saying it was in the welcome guide. I don't know if you saw anything about that. Did we do that? There several different types of areas, but I have to see. I imagine. This There's something he should have, like, specified directly to us more so. And not, like, because there's a bunch of different crap in there. Like, we, we have not even had time to do anything almost. Barely read through some stuff about the pet, take care of the pet. He's stressing, oh, it needs to be early in the morning for my schedule. Like, bro, the dog is it's adapting. It's really important, otherwise I'm going to put him in the kennel. What is the reason? Yeah, otherwise he's going to put him in the kennel, essentially. Like, dude. And he's saying, based on what we talked to him, like, he really didn't like it. And, uh, you know, if we need to, like, find different arrangements, like, basically kick us out. And just not care about us in the slightest. So, basically, if anything else happens, any other problems, we say anything he doesn't like, he's going to basically kick us out. Just like Samantha, he's really like Samantha. Like you said, he bought the same body wash and different things, different products as her and a few other toxic of, people. Yeah, of a, every toxic person. Of all, several of the toxic people we've met. Karen, Bristol, and uh, Samantha. Yeah, all, all these people. So I imagine he's way worse than Samantha, also because he has more power than her. Yeah, because he's uh, stuff high up in business. And he's caring about energy and crap, like spending money. He was acting like, bro, he must be making a good amount of money. He's had his own business. He's high up working. And he cares about a little bit of hot water. You see how these people have mental issues, right? I know people like that make a good amount of money. That is not okay. I, I was like saying, yeah, because like, I have issues, THS. Like the last people have been bleeding into this place, essentially. I have my own personal life. Things have been not going well. I take care of. Barney in the morning, 11 o'clock, no problem, he's doing great. Uh, we, we make sure he's got food and water, we'll take him on a walk, two walks a day minimum, and he's, he's happy. He was not. I had they show him video call as well, and he's like, mm, okay. And then he's like, okay, he ended up going after that. But, like, we we're talking about all this, and he's, like, still saying that, um, yeah, I, I got you to, like, just take care of Barney, uh, all your personal problems essentially are not relevant to this place. Don't, don't bring your personal problems into my place. And you're here just from... So whenever you do Our lines of work... It's like a baby for me. You're just there mm -hmm. to do what I want. And the, the dog's supposed to walk everywhere. Break your computer if you need to. Yeah, he's like asking if he can come up here all the time. Going to office area to go break another computer. Like the, the dogs in the first pet sitting place. They'd rather replace that screen. As you saw as well in my vlog. Because if you look through them. attack us sometimes. Attack, he's more violent than any dogs we've had. I would say. Like, more, more energetic, more violent, more more just everything. And this makes you feel so disturbed that they don't talk to you about things properly. You are not happy because you had horrible cold water. Couldn't even take a shower, relax at all. And then they start saying it's your fault and you're being rude with them always in the UK. They say you're being rude. And I probably can control things on his phone. Like, he, he admit I, what we're saying is correct. Everything I never saw a monitor, motorized. Everything in this damn country is controlled like a dictatorship. Dystopian. Completely. There's speed cameras everywhere, no matter where you're at. You can't park anywhere, barely more than 90 minutes, it feels like. And you get charged so much money if you break any law. And then even this is controlled from his phone. It's crazy. I think he said you can control something downstairs, but I too will go take a look. But on his phone as well, like, it's what? Crazy. Asking what time? Oh, we we would. Baths we like, like, not, not to get in your personal biz, but like, were, uh -huh. were you running two baths? And it's uh -huh. like. I was like, no, I just like did one bath, and then he's like, oh, you must have used up water somewhere else. Did you use up water ever in the kitchen? Just to wash the dishes because he wants his house clean. Wash That's the dishes. Right. So, yeah, you can't run things barely. Use That's up all crazy. the hot water. Oh, this place is so horrible. I feel so uncomfortable. It's so cringe now. I, f I don't feel welcome in this place at all. I feel cringe the rest of our days here. 
Oh, because I trust you for the three weeks. For the three weeks. Oh, wow. You trust us for three weeks. Damn, dude. You, uh, uh, no, he's like, I remember, I, I put you in my house to take care of Barney. Uh, implying, I don't offer any of your personal problems. I don't give a damn about your personal life. Because I was like telling him, I, and I do understand I'm here to take care of Barney, but, you know, we're going to be homeless after this if we don't take care of things and properly do everything. Uh, take care of our own lives and, and process these things. And then he did not like you said that. No, he was literally just like, uh, like literally. He just started saying, oh, I would love, I, the dog has to be in the morning schedule, has to. He adapts when, perfectly, when I saw. I come and all. It's Otherwise, horrible though. I just put in the kennel, what is the reason to? I There's a start, like, big difference or... between what we're doing right now in a kennel. Like, please, look off kennels. They're horrible, small cages. Because the way he just speaks, like, oh, 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 the dog is um, my baby, you know, and the, he just put in the kennel. Exactly, they have mental issues. This guy's reminds me of my dad a lot. Mental issues the same way, like really does. These type of people that are, you gotta walk on eggshells with them oh, all the time, and you can't be careful. That even knowing that he, you went to sleep late because of the hall. Mm -hmm. I was telling him. He was freaking out because you was weren't replying to him the time he wanted. Yeah, yeah, and saying, oh, if you're gonna be up at four, it's fine, but makes me have concerns for why you're. Uh, like, if you're not up in the morning to walk, Barney, like, bro, I was up till after 4 because of the damn hot water. We were going to go to sleep around 1, one thirty, and wake up early, go take care of him, 10 or 11 to latest. And then guess what happens? That. And he's expecting us to have no sleep. Isn't, this guy's a nut job. This guy's yeah. crazy. Because when we would have say about the the sleep crap, and he would have just not given them. No, he does not care. Everything we've talked about, Al, he is psychopathic. He has no empathy or sympathy. He does not care anything about us. He just gives a damn about us. But while you're working in jobs like McDonald's, passing in this, you're going to constantly run to people. He, that he's a liar because uh, when uh, you go and talk with these people, you you make it really clear about your personal life and all. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, don't worry. You're here to enjoy yourself, not check out. Yeah, he was saying that before he left. You're here to enjoy yourself. And now, it's just like not caring. Oh, you are here just for my dog, okay? After a few days, he gets more comfortable, completely. Does he not know who I am? That I have the ability to go change so much in our species and humanity and go actually create things and not be just some damn dog walker? To actually go and create the AI we need in our lives? Change everything? One person like me, with my brain and capabilities, with the way I see things, what I can do, can change so much and automate so many things and help so many people in the right positions. And these people are why our species doesn't progress at all. It, it makes me so sad. It's so sad seeing people like me not able to get in positions where we can do something instead barely trying to survive and trying to do everything the hard way. The dog always needed to have uh, someone around he does not like uh, even mm -hmm. if we are here we have to be around the dog it, it's crazy the way he is but as i was saying uh, you are a slave if you're in mcdonald's jobs spending any of this you are a slave and it's just like the landlords before hundreds and some thousands of years ago all throughout the history of the uk this country you've had the landlords and then the people working under them i can't remember if they're called the serfs or turfs i can't remember but they were slaves. They worked for the land. Like, you are a slave in this country more than anywhere. I never see this in America the same way. Here, only, it's really, like, put you as a slave. you work a lot, you make your damn money. No, no but, like, their houses are nicer and better, and they don't cause you to do nearly amount of work as it's here. It's not like a just one, one type of color, just one thing, like, everywhere. Like, this and, and that as well, like, everything looks the same, a bleak. Just like dull, gray, bleak. It's so like miserable here. And then it's always raining. Mm -hmm. Had to walk out in the rain again earlier. Have barely got any water. Got no food again today. I gotta go service the oh, car. Yeah, go figure out all that. No, food, no food barely as well. It's so much we're trying to do constantly. Because if we don't do things, we're freaking screwed on the streets. And we're helping these people. And then we go out and they don't give a damn. We're homeless after. You're helping people who don't care about you. It's such an empty feeling. It makes you feel so violated inside. When Justin said about that he needs to have his his sleep, and not just five hours. No, yeah, when I, when gonna have a uh, car accident, he was just like, mm, I dog. No, yeah, like that when I was saying about about my sleep, I was like, you know, I I can't just have five hours of sleep, 
and go drive off somewhere in a car accident and uh, that's not proper and it's just like I'm on my schedule every time he's just like yeah, yeah I got that but still I want my dog in the morning schedule these Are people sure? don't yeah. care they don't care they don't care that is the most I can ever describe. That's why I wanted. To, we both went to cancel him like so many weeks. We were like, do we? Do we? Do I told we, you we couldn't because we were in within a time range. Of, even before, like uh, before even yeah. being with him. Yeah, I'm. I'm aware. Like, there's nothing you can do now. Just try to get through this, and it's a nightmare. It freaking feels cringe. Nothing worse than feeling cringe the rest of your entire set. And then, after you're all done, oh boy, you're gonna get da -da -da -da, two star rating. Two? One? Maybe one, probably. Yeah. He, he's worse than Samantha. Yeah, I would say so in a lot of ways, depending. Like, here's the thing. I leave a review saying, oh, that's fine, alright? I took care of your package, everything the way you said. And you're upset that I spent too many hours working on my own business doing this. And guess what? I got actual money now. And I'm actually doing this in my own life. Thank I don't you. need this website anymore. Uh, I won't be here in the United Kingdom. And I'll be here in the UK. For sure, I'm not going to visit your country. And I will not invi invite other people to visit the country. This is a horrible country. People are so selfish here. For I sure. saw in Scotland, even looks like they're assholes. Because of that Airbnb. Made the person driving for hours back and forth. And had no place to stay. Cancelled completely and everything. Like, wouldn't even respond to them. If that's how people are in Scotland as well, frick, dude. Thank you, United Kingdom, general, the whole piece of land. And Ireland, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know. I know people are gonna get pissed off. Think about it. the people who are gonna get pissed off are the people who don't know what they're talking about because they're in America or somewhere else. They think they know more than we do, not traveling, yeah. or they're from the UK and they're pissed off because we're insulting their homeland. So really, any hate comments you see is probably going to be from one of these areas, which then invalidates them if you technically think about it. Or stupid people just like, oh, it's their culture being rude. They're just their culture being rude. Piss off. It's my culture being rude back to people as well. I have a micro culture and it's something we do where we respond to people who are negative in negative form. So we're going to call them assholes if they're being assholes. And I hope this microculture spreads. <laughs> Please, because this is absurd. I'm not going to just sit here and take this and everything. I'm just not happy or comfortable here. I like I told my guy to service my car. It's so many things I got to do. He don't care at all. They just care about their yeah, own work, their own vacation. He, I feel like uh, he's a... Uh... Brain waves of like he was not content because uh, you weren't spending 24 7. He wants to spend 24 7 constantly with his dog, always have the dog with his, everything about his dog. Like, I'm sorry, how, how am I supposed to work out? How am I supposed to actually go and do a business? Worrying or worrying about him messaging, worrying about hey, hey, he's hey, always hey, messaging, hey, 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 always hey, messaging, update, update. and like wanting two updates in a day at least, and maybe now video call. Maybe tomorrow and, is going to appear like, hey, and it's, it's, video it's horrible because it's because I'm trying to really hold myself back and be nice with all these people. And they still think I'm being rude because I just expressed that, hey, uh, th this is we've just been having problems since we came to the UK. It's like always some issue here. Uh, we're not being informed about these things. This, uh, we just got a shower, we're shaking, really cold. It's yeah, been a horrible like, time. He came one day earlier to have things explained to us. And what? never explained. And he got offended. I told you last night we were talking and say, yeah, he get offended about that. Yeah, we already know these people in the UK. Guys, you have to see the way he was writing. And just like, like, it looks like those black guys that are ready for a fight. Like, oh, let's face, face to face. Mm -hmm. Let's speak. Like, Oh, hello, calm down. He's like a mix water. of the problems from the Seychelles and the UK because he lives here. And I, from what I saw, people around beach areas or tropical islands, any of this seems to be like really messed up in the head. A lot. There are some uh, other countries I'm going to talk, not talk about directly right now. Because I want to go there first. Yeah. But just to specify, tropical countries, islands... All of this, more so, are going to have issues a lot. I saw with people really crazy, like Dodoy in the head. And it's just absurd to work with. It's the it place. truly is. It's places that I can steal your money the most. And steal your money the most. Most corrupt as well. Like uh, my city, I think that house uh, would be like 2 million rios. And they were like renting that for 8,000 rios per month. Yeah, a giant mansion house in your yeah, city there, yeah. And uh, we tried to explain that to Fortaleza people, the beach area, 
because at their house uh, that was extremely ridiculous horrible they mm -hmm. wanted like 15 to 20 thousand a month and uh, we try to explain to that house my city is way more expensive more mm -hmm. valid when they were like eh, eh, it's, they, they just it's say on you, yeah it's on you just oh, get i'm still like charging this just because yeah that's why i do you get out of here don't like it you leave leave the city and it's why your city is full of mold horrible trash i was shocked i didn't get a chance to record that proper i don't think i ever did the way I saw trash out one day down all over the streets. Or the guy bleeding out. I couldn't even put that on YouTube. I, I'd have to yeah. censor that. It's horrible there. Worst part is the north of Brazil from what I saw. You by far. You just have to have a, like a camera on your head the whole time. And I can't afford I can't, hundreds of dollars on a GoPro or something. I, yeah. This is absurd. And I, I'm still like weird about posting these videos. I've never posted my first video just because I know there's going to be people who are assholes. I just know humanity. And I know, I know there's going to be backlash and I have to be ready for all that. I have to be ready for everything that's going to happen. Yeah, I have to be ready financially. Financially as well. If people try to freak me or do something, I have to be ready for all of this. But I'm going to post these. I'm going to get the truth out. I want people to understand. A few people are decent. Like I always say, people are toxic. So many people. You need to make a bunch of money because that money separates you from the rest of the toxic people. Think of all the toxic people down here on, on the bottom, like animals, pigs, right? And then you get all your money, and you stack yourself up, and you're on top of this pile of money. And they're, these pigs are kind of eating and biting and burning the money, pulling you down. You make more money, you keep going up and away from them. That is the best way I can describe what I see famous or rich people do in general. And I'm not saying they're good. They're horrible as well, most of them. They do that to separate themselves from any other toxic people or problems in general. And you have some other toxic people up on their money piles that you'll face. And whoever has a higher pile can probably more so win. So if you, I could visually demonstrate that properly for you there. Uh, that is how it is. So if we had like some money separating us from these people, we wouldn't be having any problems or toxic people in general. And like the thing is, just the way these issues are with water, like limiting water supply, it's toxic. It is toxic. The, it's not like there are issues in place. It's like the type of issue. Like the last place we were in, there were some issues. There were some spider webs. The dryer was a bit dirty. It was okay. We handled it. We took care of it. We were okay. And the guy seemed relatively nice. I don't know if he was truly nice, but he seemed relatively nice, worked with us, and we went through it. However, he didn't have any other problems. There was hot water. Things were all right. It was decent. And he really acted nicer. Then you have people like this that are just not explaining things to you, make you run out of hot water, and have set times where they can control it from their phone. Let's talk face to face. And I'm talk not face to face. This. I'm have to like a, take a really bigger, sounds like my dad a lot, like toxic, abusive, all that crap, constantly. Just oh. trying to explain. Oh, I'm gonna try to send updates to this exact time for you. Yeah, I, I'm saying we'll send updates for for you in this time. And he's just not liking that. He's like, oh, I know he's doing. He's trying to always go like yeah. early, early, earlier, earlier. Because mm -hmm. I was saying, hey, can I do this like towards the evening there? It's like, no, 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 no. I want it earlier. I know he's trying to do. This place is really toxic. Uh, and yeah. Yeah. and I just don't know what to do because I know people watching this, they're not going to get it. They're not going to feel that feeling that we're feeling. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're just going to watch this, probably go back to normal life. And I'm worried that... Anything I do still won't be able to ship humanity enough. The only way to truly ship humanity is through artificial intelligence because humans need a leading, leading force that's going to properly set things straight. And obviously the leading force we have today in the world are failing miserably and not able to do anything. So if we can get something more intelligent than humans, that would be wonderful to help make things proper. It really depends on how that goes, though, if it's actually still controlled by bad people or not because then that defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? I'm just completely shocked. Uh, have so much like in my head. There's so much and, uh, to do, so much work to do, so much to worry I about. Because uh, he is definitely not gonna trust us until like the end. Uh, no. He... Oh, that's crazy. We even gave him wine. Oh. We gave him a bottle of wine as well as the present we came here. And he's just like not set up things properly at all. He's never told us about water being limited like this. This is absurd. And yeah. just his dog biting as well. I showed you, right? I keep showing. I have a little freaking scratch where he literally bit into my arm through my green jacket. Like through, imagine if I wasn't wearing that. I could have started bleeding. Maybe you went into my meat partially. Yeah. That jacket really like, helps protect. That That is absurd. I was like really weird after that. Yeah, he's so attacked. I even told him, by the way. And he's just like, oh, he, it's not intentional. He didn't mean to do it. He's just being anyway. himself. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, like the way he speaks is making me freaking pissed off as hell. And he's like, um, I said like the way that you were with your tone. I know you had really cold water and all okay last night, but you should be sucking my cock. You should be okay. So my brother said as well. He's like, you have to suck all these people's cocks or, you know, face consequences of maybe having no place. <laughs> I saw the people on his website having good reviews constantly. They, they look so empty and dead inside and they're just sucking up to everyone. I'm not going to suck up the people that are trash. Piss the hell off. I will not. I will not. Neither of us. I am not doing I'm, I'll walk out of here and go live in a car before I do that. Piss off. I have actual self-respect. I'm not going to suck someone's cock just so I can have a place. Like, okay, we'll go get something if we need to. Like a cheap private room if we have to. Down comes down to Because this is absurd. Way better. Like, better than this. Really. We almost like canceling everyone to just go have a private room. Not everyone's place is gonna be like this though. This is gonna be this and and Samantha's place. One of the worst. Really? Yeah, look. It's, uh, it's, it's small. It's, it's like small, really like hers. Everything's like hers. When the bigger houses we go to, people are nicer, really different people. Always, always. Yeah, more in the, in the forest, more like far away from the city. Uh huh. We need to stop getting these small. Anytime there's small places, people are poor mentally. You should be having big rooms and, and proper things in your life. That explains a lot, constantly. Truly does. Breaking brown groundbreaking discoveries all the time about people and psychology and how things are but if you want to deal with people in an easier way get bigger houses bigger rooms all that people are super toxic and abusive when they're in small rooms it does something to them same reason why I think people in big cities living in small apartments are tend to be more democratic support killing of babies at seven and nine months old already in the my stomach and that type of abortion all that and supports all kinds of just other not good immoral things and again it's not to say that Republicans or any type of people like that are perfect I have an ass lot of issues with them but there's something specific that goes on wrong with people when you cram them into small spaces in cities or apartments or just any of this I've documented this so much wherever I've gone at least in the countries I've been to so that that's about it, because there are, there are people who are definitely assholes and have problems who live out in the country even. I, I have my own family as, as like an example of that. They're, they're mostly just assholes, so there's just something different that goes on, really, when, when they're in, in a city. I don't know. Different type of toxicity, but there's a lot of toxicity in general so much. So, that's about it for now. I have the next two or three weeks to be uh, cringe and just feel welcome as hell in his place yeah. while taking care of his pet constantly. I think because uh, he's not trusting us at all, I think uh, he's gonna put more neighbors on work. Mm -hmm. More, more neighbors, neighbors watching us. And the probably is now two updates plus a video call every day. So just let's see. Tomorrow. Probably just two updates, probably not a call, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Probably more so and updates. I'd be surprised uh, though. He said that he he has a uh, like issues like anxiety. Yeah, he he's uh, all these people have and, like these uh, issues. What do you think he's? What do you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm not feeding their dog? You think I'm not watering? You think I'm not taking care of him because we are. We're cleaning up after him, walking him, making sure he's all right. We spend time with them. We treat him nicely. We're not like abusing and hitting him or anything. We don't even yell at him. He says where he's jumping up on us, and I'm like, hey, hey, Barney, down, like, I. Okay, that's most I do. Obviously, if he's scratching and ripping your skin, you're going to say something. Like, hey, hey, you give a command to get down. We're really treating his pet properly. And he just... Oh, I'm going to put in the kennel. Because it's going to oh, be treated better. These UK people are... Like, even when we were renting a hotel, they were assholes to us. Their hotels are assholes. Everything's assholes. Third world country. They don't give you a refrigerator even. Had to waste food. First days here. And the girls that are working at the store just like, oh, you got three hours to kill. Piss off. Burn in hell. That is that is not how you run a country. I never heard that in Brazil. They're more responsible and updated in, in these ways and mature. People are so immature in, in these first world countries. Yeah. I, I know I'm going to piss off the whole population. Probably just have everyone against me. Well, 
if I do, hey, I said my mind. I said the way things are. People can either follow it or, or not. Up to you, but your species is going to burn at this rate if you don't do something to fix it. And no one's living happy. I see depression growing every day and suicides increasing every day. I wonder why. Look at the society you're living in. Bloody hell, please, somebody wake up and realize what's going on. As if for now. Uh, maybe one day I will stop ending on a depressing note. But so far, I mean, I'm vlogging about my life. And my life is not positive negative right now. So that's the way the vlogs are going. And I, I had a bad feeling last night as well. We, like, you pick up on brainwaves so often from people. Even like a teacher, you sense that. Like, from what I know, people admit brainwaves. It's like scientifically proven. And if you can pick up on them from farther away potentially then you can sense something's going wrong with like negativity and we felt uncomfortable last night as well a lot like oh maybe we can get kicked out looks like he almost wants to kick us out yeah that's why i didn't order anything shane because i'm really expecting him to do that because of i'm still expecting right now even after the call just see how is it going like that's but what he was doing I that's what he said as well i think it's just because he's gonna rethink and rethink and rethink and then uh, maybe still not good enough based on what I saw on the call in the if you like take a, a day to just like uh, I thought uh, better about everything mm -hmm. and I think uh, it's just not gonna work and you have stuff coming here it's like oh, not my problem <laughs> like for the gift, gifts that is horrible that is bad because we have like the same cars and crap coming here stuff we need for business American numbers to register properly and as a marketing Ah, the, the, these people he, are... He's gonna do that, because I saw his it should be, content in a, It should be call. illegal to do that. Like, we are here for a service. They always, like... A they should need proof. They you. should need... Yes, they're always threatening you. And if you say anything, they like... They can't just go out of their home, but they are able to, like, just go kick you out anytime they want. Mm-hmm. There should be something that is illegal about this. You cannot leave without informing them, but they can kick you out anytime they want. Maybe even have to call THS about this or to let them know. Just if any problem happens, if anything happens. That's absurd. This is a slut slave job where you have no rights and you're a piece of trash, burn and die, that's it. That's what this is. And people make it this way. Alright, so... Uh, they had a couple kids come by again. It was a boy and girl, maybe around eight to nine years old, seven to nine. I don't know, somewhere around there. And it's a problem with bad people. You don't know if it's a coincidence because it's been a couple of days since they came. They were saying before they like to. Don't know if it's just with us. And maybe it's time for them to come again. I don't know. Or maybe he sent them because like, again he wants to see, make sure everything's okay. Because this guy seems paranoid. I have no idea. We want to believe it's probably because he's being paranoid and an asshole, especially after what happened with the call today and everything, but who knows? You know, I just don't have the proper data for that. So anyways, that happened, and I want to play ball a little bit outside, and uh, yeah, never happened before, but surprisingly, Bonnie actually about bit my finger and uh, put teeth marks almost in it, which I didn't tell you, actually. I uh, didn't bite into it at all, barely. Uh, it's thankfully really quick, but with you probably he would have because you're a bit slower with that you always and he always gets you because of that and Yeah, almost had that happen barely left any mark at all it looks like so a little bit weird But I think this like I said never happened with me. I think just feel like a lot of negative energy in the environment here ever since uh, what's happened with the water and him being an asshole about things and, and asking like if you took one or two baths like Really cringe. This guy's really cringe and horrible. So, on this, the level of Samantha, he just is living cleaner because of probably asthma and crap because they have to. That's the only thing that's separating them, truly, I think, is what's going on here. So, that's, uh, that's fun. I got my files moved. I'm working on editing these vlogs again and have to hurry because I'm, I'm piling up. Gonna have to put less work into them just so I edit them as best I can so that I can continue with uh, actually getting all this done in time. The yeah. the owner is the one that causes issues. Yeah. They worry and cause issues more than their pet ever could. Almost always. Except for Samantha's place, their, their pets were actually worse than the host almost. <laughs> okay.
uh, in our long video. I just, I'm so miserable in this country. I'm so miserable. I just, really not happy. I want to get out of here. <laughs> I got to go service the car now. I, there goes my energy constantly. Talking about people, how bad they are. And trying to edit all these videos as well and work. I don't give a damn if I'm editing or getting a career going or doing anything or showing anything. These people don't care. They don't want me to show how this country is. They don't want me to show how they are as people. Damn, if I could show their face like in Brazil and post it, I would. But I'm not allowed to because of laws. If someone robs you, I think you can't show their face. You can get sued. That is a horrible in the U.S., I think, and the U.K. from what I know. Those, those, these countries have issues for a reason. The people there. A lot of issues. There's a reason like, I would, why I would never date people from either of these countries before I ever traveled. I made that clear. I would never date people from America. Ever. Or from probably the U.K. or Australia. Any English-speaking country, I feel like, is just... English maybe cause people to have issues in a lot of ways, I feel like. Different. It really does. Its own set of unique problems and toxicity. So, that's it for now. Uh, drop a comment down below, complaining about anything you want. If you were offended about something, please go ahead. Thank you. Um, if you want to drop a comment about something that you agreed with, uh, you can do that as well. So... Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video coming up, next vlog. Uh, please, I'm praying that things just turn positive somewhere, finally. Only when we get money. That's that's truly it. So, that's all, and I will see you in the next one coming up. Uh, bye for now.